my channel. I have a Sephora. This was like a VIB sale, VIB Rouge sale. I don't know if it was for Beauty Insiders. I think it may have been too. I'm not fully sure. All I know is Sephora had a 15% off that they sent me an email of and I was like, I'm going to use this. So what I decided to do, well initially I was like, just get the things that you need, which was a foundation. And turns out my foundation is out of stock. So I was like, just get the things you've been wanting now. And I went a little crazy. So most of the stuff is just um, things I've purchased. I think there were two or three different shopping trips. One online and then two in person that I did. And then also some Octoly items that you buy at Sephora. So it's like I'm going to throw those in there too because it's a review style video. Most of it I have tried out which I think is good for you guys because I'd be like yeah get it. No don't. Save your money. Okay. Anyways, I'm a rambler. The first um, thing I guess I'm going to pull out is by Marc Jacobs. And this, I didn't go in to get it. I actually was like, absolutely do not get a lip gloss. And I got one. Um, and this is the color Fawn Over Me. It is beautiful. So pretty. So when I went into uh, Sephora, it was JCPenney Sephora, they were doing a one day Marc Jacobs sale where you got a free eyeliner. That's what she said. She was like, hey, the 15% off is going on. And on top of that, if you get any Marc Jacobs product, you get a free eyeliner. I was like, okay, I've never purchased Marc Jacobs. I want that eyeliner. So I was like, I don't want to spend much money. And this was one of the least expensive items. It was still like $28 with 15% off on top of that. But it's the uh, most beautiful lip gloss I have probably ever seen that is gorgeous it's like the prettiest nude color also looks pretty on my face so i think i'm gonna keep this the only sucky part is is let me show you the eyeliner because i got she didn't show it to me she didn't even tell me what color it was gonna be so i got up to the checkout line and the lady didn't put it in it wasn't the same girl she didn't put it into my bag and i was like aren't i supposed to get an eyeliner with this she's like oh yes and she put it in and it is tiny let's find it because it's so small i can't find it right now it came in this little bag. I haven't even opened it yet, but the girl said a free eyeliner. Now, she didn't say full size. She also didn't say a little mini, and obviously the tactic was just tell them you get an eyeliner and they'll buy stuff, because if you tell them you get a sample eyeliner, it's not the same, and it's not. Um, and this is just, again, Marc Jacobs, and it looks to be in the color black, and I don't want to, like, fully put it up, but I'm assuming there's, like, an inch of product in here. It's very creamy. I will give it that. That is a nice feeling product, but I, I, mean, I don't really need an eyeliner. I like using like the felt tip marker ones, like you're putting a Sharpie marker on your face. Those are my favorite. Maybe I should just invest in some Sharpie markers, really. That's probably where my life will take me soon. And then by Cover FX, this is something I've been eyeing for a while, and they only had two... Like, in the whole store, two of these available. One was in the color Moonlight, which is what I got, and the other was, like, a very darker one that wouldn't match my skin tone in the slightest. It would look just like I have brown on my face. So I decided I'm gonna get yet. And Moonlight is one I've been, like, seeing people buy and liking the color, and I swatched it on my hand, and it was, it was gorgeous. But I tried this out, and I used it as a highlighter and on my nose. I put, like... A beauty blender, a wet damp beauty blender, dabbed it on my face, and it dried splotchy. Like, it would not blend out. So I don't know how to use this. Like, I'm obviously not doing it right. Is there a right way? Leave it in the comments below. I'm so confused, and I feel like this is something I'm going to end up returning because I don't know how to make this work because a damp beauty blender doesn't work, and I was fast with it. It's not like I did this and then this and then blended it out. No, I went do-do-do and then started blending, and it didn't blend. So I'm... I'm at a loss for this. I have been wanting to put like a little dab in my foundation, but I have other products that I like doing that with, and I don't really need this for that, and it was $42, so I'm not sure. This is uh, up in the air for me as to whether I want to keep it or not. So this I just threw in here. I didn't use a 15% off on it. I got this at a regular like standing Sephora. This is the Elizabeth James Nirvana Bourbon scent. This is a perfume. And that's because a long time ago, aka like November, when they did the VIB sale then, I got a perfume sampler and I just this week went and got the voucher in for a full size. So this was like free even though like I already paid for it back in November. 
So this is what it looks like. It's very masculine. The smell is also very masculine. I just got lip gloss all over my hand. This is in the 1.0 fluid ounces, and I do have one complaint in that when I bought it on the online site, it said, because I knew I was going to get bourbon, that it was going to be 1.8 fluid ounces, and I even had a screenshot of it, and like when the voucher came, it's like you can only put it in, sorry, my fan just turned on, for a one ounce, one fluid ounce, so I could have been that person to go in and complain, be like, hey, I have a screenshot, this is what it said give me the 1.8 but in the moment I was like I'm not feeling this I'm just gonna get the one ounce I am just about out of my under eye concealer and the one I have right now is born this way Too Faced and I love it it's like not super opaque it kind of like lets your skin show through so I feel okay working out with it like after I'm doing all my stuff during the day like keeping it on because it doesn't it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a ton of makeup so I decided to buy this by Sephora brand and it's a concealer and on the reviews people were complaining that it wasn't very opaque and I was like perfect that's what I want like their complaints are my game problem I have with this I'm wearing it today is I got too light of a color so I need one shade darker so I feel like I'm going to return this and then get it one shade darker because I like it's not opaque it's very very sheer well it's like a light to light medium coverage and it was only 14 bucks. So I mean, that's affordable. And this is smoothing and brightening is what it says. And I have it in the color light, 01, which is white. Going into some of the Octoly products, I have in this, I love it so much. Um, by Lancome, they sent me two different powders. This is the Absole powder probably butchering that name this radiant smoothing powder and I have it in the color absolute paste and absolute golden which is really funny because I'll show you that the paste okay I don't know if I'm saying that right either probably not reminds me of Jenna Marbles dog peach which I think in some of the videos she calls them paste but the absolute golden which is this one is a rose color and then the absolute page, which reminds me of peach, is golden. Like, they totally got their names backwards. I am obsessed with these. The page one, which is the gold color looking one, I know this is going to be confusing, is my favorite. It Both of them smell so good. It's like a very like sweet floral scent. If you are weird with scents, um, just having scented products, you're probably not going to like the smell of it. But it's so luxurious smelling I love it and once it's on your face you can't smell it it's just when I'm putting it on I'm like this smells all good but I have it on today the page one is gonna I keep wanting to say gold one and I just put it in it's it's basically like a really lightweight highlighter it's not like super shimmery but it has a little bit of glimmer in it not glitter makes me look so like bright and awake and it just makes my skin look so much prettier than it actually is i am obsessed with this i am going to be really upset when this goes and i have to buy a new one but i will buy a new one but there's a lot of product in here so i think this is going to last me a while and you can also use it as like an all over powder but what i do is just use it in like my upper cheekbones my nose inner corners of my eyes and then i'll put it like down here too where i want to lighten by Clarins, I have this Body Fit. This is something I've been wanting to try out because summertime I wear shorter shorts and I don't know about you guys but I have cellulite on my upper thighs and like underneath my butt and this is something that is supposed to help firm your skin. Like it's one of those, I always see these products and I'm like, Ugh. you know, does that really work? But then at the same time I was like, if it does work I want that in my life. So I got up Clarence. This is a brand that I definitely trust. Um, I have grown up like hearing of this brand. And this is the anti-cellulite cellulite, cellulite contouring expert. And they give you a little demo like sheet of how to like depending what you want to do for it. How to like massage it into your skin and direction wise and like even the body positions you're supposed to be in. Um, but it's really just supposed to like firm your skin and help like what's it the like the lipids and excess water like absorb out of it. Which is supposed to in turn make your legs and stomach wherever you want it. Like I like it on my legs but some people use it on their stomach, their arms, wherever you have cellulite, wherever you want to firm, like even your boobs if you want to. 
put this on it. Um, obviously I've only used it a few times. I can't tell you if this has worked yet. It's something that like you have to use I think for like a month before you really start noticing results or maybe a few times and this is something I will definitely keep using and then once I do an empty studio give you like a full-on review of it because right now I just don't feel like I can and at the same time when I had it on my legs I totally forgot to look in the mirror and see if my cellulite looked any better so I couldn't give you a review anyways. Color's weird it's like a pink color and it kind of looks like if you've ever watched those shows on TLC like my 600 pound life and skin tight um, it kind of looks like what fat looks like coming out of the lipo. Like, it's, I don't, that's just something that triggered me. <laughs> and also by Clarence, this is the Multi-Active U. This is an Instant Eye Reviver. Targets fine lines. Adorable bottle. This is one, another thing I've been wanting to try for a while, like this type of product, because it's an eye cream and use it day or night. But it has like this metal applicator and it's so cooling on your eyes which makes sense why it's supposed to depuff. I've never had this type of product before but I've been excited to try it out and I know some people will like put this in the fridge too. I personally think this is already cold enough just like out of the fridge so I'm gonna keep it room temperature for now at least. Um, but you can use it under your makeup. I have it on today. Didn't like do anything weird with my makeup. Looks exactly the same as if I didn't use it. But my eyes feel really like like they don't feel tight at all or dry they feel good and there's a lot of product in here so this is 0.5 ounces that's gonna last me probably a good six months let's hope so lastly from Octoly is by YSL this is the Touche Eclat Glow Shot I've been working on my pronunciation of YSL beauty stuff I suck so much at it but YSL is probably my number one fave beauty line right now. I love it because my foundation I've been using is the YSL CC Primer in Apricot, which is the one that I had wanted to get from Sephora, but they were sold out, so I'm getting it full price from another place now it's being shipped in. Um, but this is the Glow Shot. This is in the color Daylight, and this is a it's not like a set but they have three different colors in this like specific line and this is the lightest color it's good for like light skin tones which I consider myself the other two are more like golden and reddish in color um, but this smells I blew my mind I love the smell of this again like once you have it on you can't smell it but when I'm putting it on my face I'm like <laughs> smells so good it's like a very floral sweet scent and you know how I love sweet smelling things so you can use this as it's a highlighter you can use it the same as what you would do other like liquid highlights and use it on your cheekbones and on your nose and on wherever you want highlighter but for me what I love to do is mix it in with my foundation to do an all over glow which is also something they recommend but like liquid highlighters for me that's what I do I also will do it like if I'm doing a lazy makeup day and I don't want to put on like powder highlighter and like I don't want to look like I have a lot on my face I'll use this or another product similar and just do it on my cheekbones and my nose and it's a very like it's a nice highlight but it's not like a super in your face one it's similar to like the Lancome one but a little more highlighting like the powder I was talking to you guys about I recommend this 100%. Um, this color specifically, I don't have the other ones to tell you if I like them or not. The weird thing about this is the packaging feels a little bit cheap on it. This is something I would see in like a drugstore package and not so much like YSL, but that complaint itself is like so minuscule that, I don't know, like that's not gonna stop me from repurchasing or anything. Or like if I know a product and like I like how it swatches, I'm gonna be like, oh, that packaging is really stupid and I'm not gonna buy that. That's not how I work at least. But I felt like it was worth mentioning. <laughs> okay, oh my God, this video is already so long. I have more products though. This is for my online order. And the very first thing I'm pulling out is by Well Kept. I don't need to keep talking about this. I have told you guys many times this is just a screen like tech cleanser towelette. It's supposed to wipe off your iPhones, computers, whatever you want. Keep it clean. I'm OCD freak. And I like these. And I always like to restock because they're like 5 or $6. So whenever I place an order, I usually get one of those. And then by Course, oh, this is another Octoly product. This is the last one. 
my armpits have not been shaved in a while, so hopefully you didn't say that. This is the Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleep Sleep <laughs> Sleeping Facial, and it's by one of my favorite brands, which is Coors. I love them, especially for their skincare. Like I had a Greek yogurt body lotion, and I'm almost like I'm literally like this far away from being out of it, and it makes me very upset. I'm gonna have to get another one. But look at this packaging, like this is just, it looks luxurious, it feels luxurious, and the prices aren't like luxury prices. What this is though is an overnight cream, you are supposed to use it at night time, and it's supposed to target like dehydrated skin, and give you like a surge of moisture. And so I know it's weird because like this is summertime, most people would get this in the winter months, which is perfect for that, but for me, I get very targeted areas that get super dry for no reason which is some patches on my chin, on my neck, and like in between my eyebrows. So I needed this to do in those specific areas, which is why I got so stoked to order this on Octoly. And it smells really good, like it doesn't have a scent, but it doesn't have like, I don't know, it kind of like, I know because the title says, I think milk yogurt in it is making me feel like it smells a little bit like that in a really good way like the best of ways. <laughs> it smells very expensive. That's really how to sum it up. It smells and feels very expensive and it's not like a super expensive product. So if you are at Sephora, get a sample of this, try it out. Try any of the core stuff out. I highly enjoy them. By Bosca Basca Basca. I don't know. This is a cognac cleansing sponge with complexion clearing Play. and it's just one of the sponges you keep in your shower and you just rub off your dad's skin in there. I always have one of these. I always do. I'm going through my doll beauty one. It's still going strong. I really like that one but I needed a backup and this was on sale for $12 with an extra 15% off of it and I was like yes get in my cart sir. So I'm excited for that. Um, and then by pharmacy this is the I do under eye Cream. I was just out running out. I'm like just a smidgen away from getting the I do that I'm currently going through out of my life because I used it all and I was like hey get another one put it in your stash so that when I do run out I'm not feeling very upset and um, going through postpartum depression with it. Again, this is not very expensive. So if you're looking for an eye cream, this is like a lighter weight one. It was like $38. And then 15% on top of that, I was like, yes, I will. And packaging is adorable. Um, also, another Sephora collection. This is the Pro Contour Sweep. Number 97 brush. I haven't even opened this yet, so I can't give you a review on it, but it does feel very heavy. And I really like this little protector they gave. I'm so confused. How do I, how do I open you? Oh, okay. That, uh. oh, yes. That is some soft bristles happening. Okay, so I would just want you know want it and just like that, just like that's all I do, just sweep, 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 sweep. That's my contouring. I hope I like it. I really hope I like it. You may see this in a favorites. This feels delightful. I have never tried a Sephora like brush at all, and this is the pro one, and this feels amazing. It feels like the it cosmetics. I love their brushes. Okay, I'm happy with you so far, even though I haven't used you. I think I'm gonna be your friend. Two more items, two more, let's go fast. Okay, I got an Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This is something that I have loved in the past. It's been many favorites videos, but I haven't had it in a while because I've been using the L'Oreal one. L'Oreal one is 17 bucks. I like that, but this for the 15% off was almost like, I don't know, it was like $7 more. And I was like, how, I'm, I'm gonna get this one. I saw that I like it more. It's just I haven't seen it in a while and I missed it. And the packaging changed and it looks really cute. And I was like, I'm gonna, I want you back in my life, at least for now. And then the very, very, very last thing, I'm apologies for this video being so long. This is by Kevin Aquan and I have only purchased one product from him ever and it was on Hot Look and it was a foundation. 
Oh, that was awful and didn't match me at all because I got it like at least four shades too dark, so. I never saw the light of day. And this is the Molten Lip Color in the color Cyber Opal. It's opal. I'm wearing it on my lips. If any of you had looked at my face, I'm like, oh, I like that lip gloss. This is what it is. I love the color opal. It's my favorite stone. Haley Page puts opal beads on all of her dresses almost, and it is gorgeous. And I wanted this. There are two shades. This is the cyber one. And there was another like more blue toned, but this is like the more pink toned and I thought it looked nice. And I like it and I think I'm gonna definitely keep this. It feels good on my lips and I think it just is, it's pretty. And it's cool because it's, when you see it up close, it shines in so many different colors. It's beautiful and unique and that's what I wanted, I guess. Okay, that's the end of the video. Let's get off of here because this is too long and I don't like making long videos. I don't know if you like watching them. Actually, I like watching long ones that I'm doing my makeup, so I don't know. Maybe you do like it. So I'll make them. Probably I'm still not going to make them that long in the future, but they always end up that way. I don't know. I'm making this longer. I will see you guys really soon. Leave in the comments below if you've tried any of these products, if you have suggestions on how to use some of them because I know I said I was a little confused on some. And I will see you guys like in a few days because I have an empty studio I have to get up and then throw them away so I'll see you soon bye